Legislation aimed at undoing three local referendums passed last year in Key West cleared its final committee stop in the Senate today. As Jake Stofan tells us, while the legislation may be aimed at the Keys, it would limit the ability of any Florida city or county to regulate their ports. Key West approved three referendums last year, pushing for more environmentally friendly cruise ships and limiting the size and number of cruise ships that could dock in their port. Smaller, safer, cleaner ships. The goal was to prevent large ships from kicking up sediment and harming coral reefs. Everybody who lives in the Florida Keys over the past year without the large cruise ships noticed the waters like a miracle get clearer. But a bill moving through the legislature would undo all three referendums and prevent any other local governments from implementing similar restrictions. Some of the smaller boats are the ones that are actually causing more problem than the bigger boats. The sponsor argues limiting how locals can regulate their ports now will prevent local restrictions that could potentially harm the state as a whole in the future. 50% of our oil uh, for the state of Florida comes through the port of Tampa. So if a group got together and banned that as a, as a you know, commodity that would come into our port, imagine that, what that would do, not just to the economy, but to statewide transportation. The legislation has been opposed and supported by both Democrats and Republicans. The mixed response has the coalition from Key West hoping the governor may veto the bill. To help us, you know, bring balance to Key West, to do what's right for the cruise industry and do rights with what's right with supporting home Home rule. The governor has a mixed record on home rule. He's vetoed legislation that would have prohibited local plastic straw bans, but also signed legislation preempting local sunscreen bans. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. The bill still has to clear the Senate chamber and has one more committee stop in the House. The governor so far has been silent on this legislation.